Rwanda's women football has come a long way, shaking off the challenges that have continued to stand on the way. It is a cheap Zikunda Guru and Zabakoga, Chanich and Nami Koromachi, Nimun Vire Miche, Mubuyozi, Burjo, Abayozo, the Kunze, Quitavira, Ufasha, Machipia, Koga, Hoka, Fasha, Machipia, Hoga, Kituma, Machipia, Koga, the Terim Berechani, Irikore Show, Ibabicheya. Uh, Women in Rwanda started uh, the campaign in 1997. Yeah, it was not easy because of cultural beliefs that uh, football is the main sport. But uh, we managed to work on that for about three years, whereby we started having different teams in different provinces, different tournaments. And now we have reached a good level whereby we have 11 teams in the National Champions League. We have um, competition in schools, uh, whereby boys and girls participate. So the change of mentality is now coming up from about 2% uh, to at least now 40%. Um, so there is a very good improvement. Uh, we now have women coaches, we have women referees, uh, we have a national women's coach, which is some improvement that has been done at our campaign. This issue of stigma and cultural beliefs when it comes to women playing football is not special to Rwanda. Even though Rwanda's women football has not yet reached the level of other giants like South Africa and Nigeria, the resilience by Rwanda's football governing body Ferofa is still on. The commitment levels to up the standards of the game remain high. To change a mindset is not something that can, just, that can, can come out of a day. It, it is something that always takes a long time and always we meet constraints when trying to promote that people start complaining why are you changing our culture our women are supposed to dance and sing they are very soft if they play football they will grow muscles they will become like men so they said it's just more sport but uh, as we keep on uh, organizing tournaments we keep on using the media to talk about it on the radios or the television this has changed the people's mindset that also the girls has the right to play. Though it's, uh, all priorities go to men always as the first priority, but this is what we are trying to do to see that it, it balances, it becomes 50 50. Yeah, it's not easy, but we are going to reach that stage. Today, Ferrofa has put in place the Women National Football League, which consists of 11 clubs and plans are underway to establish a national football team for women that will be involved in competitive football on both regional and international levels. Since we have now the support from above, from the ministry, from the football federation, in long, uh, some years back, uh, there, was, there used not to be some competition, there was no national team, but now they are going to put it in place. So we believe that if they put much input, as they are putting in in boys' football, we are going to have the best results. And we believe that between three to five years, we shall be able to compete on the international level. Recognizing the importance of training as a component of improving women's football standards in Rwanda, the Rwanda Football Federation, FIROFA, in collaboration with the World Football Governing Body, FIFA, has continued to host and organize community training workshops. These workshops usually bring together all stakeholders in the sport from all over the country. Despite the feminist revolution, it is however interesting to note that women leaders and representatives are often still as scarce in the women football leadership positions and corporate boardrooms as they were some years ago. As far as I'm concerned, I can see this as a very good step 
because years back there was no single woman, but at least now there is one woman, whereby uh, these other uh, officials from the executive committee are convinced that next year they are going to have 30% of women in the executive board. So once women are 30% in the executive board, then we are going to have this coming up to some equality. So everywhere you go, you'll find that in the Football Federation, there are no women on the executive committee. There are just very few. So it is all over the world, it is all over Africa. But we are trying to bring this up so that we may bring a change from Rwanda. Despite all the challenges, one thing is for sure. There is a determination to uplift the standards of our women football in the country to international standards. <laughs> And as we are going to have the national team, we are going to compete on international level. And we believe we shall have the best results that we will also motivate Rwandans to feel that they can support their women. Brazil, and she takes the ball here. She's got Ellison at her back. She spins it around the defender, Johan Cruyff-like, takes it in and drills it hard. Very soon. We will get here.